Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Cancer, I am going to do a reading for you today. I'm going to see what your blind spot is. I haven't done one of those in a while. So let's see what your blind spot is, Cancer. What is all coming in for you? And why for it be coming in, Cancer? All right, my dear Cancerians, what is your blind spot? And why is this coming in? Your blind spot is the heart chakra. So it's opening up your heart chakra. It is a period of feeling um, very good, feeling compassion, feeling love, self-acceptance, which is the most important acceptance of all. Why is this coming in? Yin, yang, passive or active, intuitive or logical, identifying energetic cycles in your life. So there's a, you're identifying a cycle, maybe, intuitively or actually quite logically and it seems that the most important thing that you should focus on is your heart chakra you have thinking man at the bottom a, a wise man to teach you and grow a love interest or a friend this could be someone around you it could be you let's go to the tarot i think i'm going to do the tarot of the abyss and let's see, Cancer. Let's get more information. Why is this heart chakra here for Cancer? This is their blind spot. They don't see this coming in. It could be a new friend. It could be a new romantic partner. It could be a new experience where there is a lot of compassion and acceptance and love in that Cancer. Actually, it's funny. I'm just thinking about it now. I've been doing a lot of private readings for cancers. Whoa, you got the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's a big one, my friend. Okay. Holy scary. I know. I, it's funny. Like, there's this energy here um, <laughs> that I know some of you are like, yeah, Cindy, I know. We talked about this. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Cindy, I why is the universe bringing this in? Yin yang. Well, the other thing that I get with that too is like that's counterpart balance energy. So it is balancing energies as well. That's why. Maybe there's... Um, if this has to do with family and relationships, it could be too that for some of you, you may be um, kind of working your way through or becoming kind of your own divine feminine energy here, the best of yourself in your own feminine energy, because this is a blind spot that is the counterpart that I would describe as kind of like a divine masculine energy. So it's somebody who's very grounded, um, has a very good sense of who they are, how they govern themselves in the world. They have a lot of experience, but this person is also leans into their own spirituality and their emotions when need be. They use that as um, a guidance system as well. So you have the first card that came out here is why the universe is bringing this in is the hanged one. So the hanged man, anything else to go with the hanged man and the yin yang. It is for you to see something in a way that you haven't seen it before. So this could be a relationship, the awakening. So judgment here. I kind of want to say that some of you may have a preconceived notion about masculine energy and perhaps the conception that you have about it is what your own personal experience has been. So the universe wants to bring an experience towards you. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic and it doesn't have to be uh, like, like a male, but it's somebody who utilizes masculine energy in a really healthy way. So this is someone who builds, who builds with the energy that they utilize. This is someone who does not bring other people down to build. This is somebody who... If they recognize that they have some sort of authority or experience, they utilize that for the higher good of not just themselves, but everybody around them. 
So this is somebody who utilizes masculine energy in a really healthy way. And the universe, why this is coming in, I want to say because the universe wants to show you this example, wants to show you that this example can exist. And this is part of a new step forward for you. It's almost like turning everything upside down. Oh, no, check this out. Okay, look at how she's rising in the awakening card, right? Like, she's kind of like this. And if you're like that, it's like the hand, hangman perspective, right? So it's literally like you are looking at things upside down or it's because things are perceived in a particular way right now. It's almost as if you're walking into a new cycle for yourself. You're walking into a new cycle. You're moving beyond past judgments of yourself. So if you're moving beyond past judgments of yourself, then you're also going to be naturally moving beyond past judgments of others or other types of energies, hopefully through different experience, right? Okay. The underline so far is um, the magician, temperance and the wheel of fortune. Wow, you have a very heavy load of major arcana here. You have the emperor, the hanged man, judgment, the magician, temperance, the wheel of fortune. This is something that is being manifest. Oh, look at this. This temperance card is unique too, right? It's something that you're manifesting. This temperance card sometimes throws me off a bit in this deck. Like it reminds me of almost like a two of cups because there's two cups there sitting grounded grounded very very well here but look there's actually just a feminine energy in this there's nothing coming out of the second cup so i do kind of feel like for many of you this has something to do with the relationship and moving into a completely different set of circumstances than what you've dealt with in the past i mean it could be a boss for some of you you could be maybe you're going to have a new boss and this person is if you've been dealing with someone in the past who is very negative that won't be the case for you. This person will highlight your your positive attributes, your skills, and try to help you build on those as opposed to recognizing them and trying to figure out, well, how can I stuff that down so it doesn't make me look bad? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. What else do we have here for this? Tell us more about this spirit. This is actually coming up pretty quick and easy. The Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. There's something to do here with, it's almost like a plan that you see for yourself in the future, or a way that you're about to start kind of progressing yourself. And then a lot of it is based on your own self-confidence. A lot of it is based on your own creative abilities here. I kind of want to say you're letting an energy in. It's like you're letting an energy in. This deck has two Three of Swords and two Ten of Swords. This is the best out of the two Ten of Swords. This is the one where the person has risen off of the beach. You know, the, the first one is the typical beach scene where the person has all the swords in their back and there's someone approaching with like <laughs> their sword to like, shove it in there. When somebody is down to really, ah, when somebody is down to take advantage of that, right? This person has been either i don't know you could say i don't know i'm hearing belittled belittled or a lot of swords so some people will look at that like it's very it's very instinctive energy you know like you see it played out with like little kids that don't know any better or even animals played out it's a very animalistic instinct it's when you see an animal that is in a position of vulnerability go at it get that resource <laughs> because i mean it is it's kind of like how the world is but that's why we're here to be a little more enlightened and not to function on such a bestial oh energy and you had temperance as the underline which is right turning the beast into the man the transformation of that so for some of you maybe it maybe some of the dudes you've dealt with have been very beastly and you're gonna meet someone who's more like a gentleman um but this, so getting back to this here uh, this is actually rising up off of the beach and looking, just looking like straight on at everything that has perhaps ever belittled, everything that has ever um, backstabbed or come at you uh, crookedly in life, anything that has 
perhaps even served a purpose here to dismantle your own ego about who you are, who you thought you are. I see, like, right, the Queen of Wands is a very independent and uh, sort of strong world energy. So there's a change in that. There, there is a change in that. Wow, oh, the Knight of Swords, the Wise One, the Three of Wands, and the Wise One, So you have, which is the Hierophant. So there is, I could call it a wise one, a very, I, I want to just say very grounded and spiritual individual coming towards you. The Knight of Swords. I find it, it's kind of fascinating because it's like this person has a very enlightened ability, a quick way of seeing things. And perhaps, I don't know, love. Like this could even quickly move towards love, an expression of love. Maybe you'll fall quickly in love. I don't know. Let's see. Why? Why is the universe bringing this to my sweet Cancerians? My portals of love. Four of Pentacles. This thing is hiding behind the. There. Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Wow, and the King of Pentacles. Upgrading. <laughs> this is like totally upgrading. I don't know, Cancer, I'm going to be honest. Like, I see y'all getting an upgrade in relationships here. I see getting an upgrade in um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Off you go, a new beginning. A new beginning is taking you somewhere. Okay, so it almost feels as if if, you're, if you have a new beginning now or you're about to have a new beginning, it's taking you somewhere. It's like the stepping stone to something more. Going for, Yeah, it's a stepping stone to something more. All right. See, this is interesting. So why? It is to change your perspective on something. I honestly, I really feel like... Now, if you're coming to this reading and you resonate like as a masculine energy, I want to say this is showing you that your own masculine energy is really going to be like vamped up here. It's going to be revved up. It's, but it's kind of like, well, it's almost touched by love though with the fourth chakra as well. It's kind of funny, this emperor, like he almost looks like he's sitting in the ocean, which is unique, right? Because... Typically, that would be the King of Cups would be sitting in the ocean with all of these, like, big waves around him. I mean, it could just be very expressive artwork. The hills are rolling here, but... I'm joining hands. Joining hands. Two stories that come together to make one story. I think some of you could be combining family or something here. There's something really significant about going from, like, taking these steps here and then going up these steps to a whole new branch on the tree. It's almost like a you're coming out of a root system and you're going up into the tree. So some sort of foundation that's being created that you can prosper and grow along. But this too, I mean, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Why? Why is the universe bringing this to you? Well, I kind of do want to say that you've also like done a lot of leveling up. You've perhaps gone from a period here of being very closed off or being very particular in how you you share or don't share your energy. Maybe even like not even manifesting, just kind of sitting in a bit of um a stasis energy. And in the page of pentacles, it's like you've planted a seed here. And then it's time to harvest it with the King of Pentacles. 
So you've planted the seed, and I, but I do feel like your experience also surrounding masculine energy is changing. All right, let's clarify. We might as well. It didn't take long. It seemed pretty simple. All right. Tell us about the heart chakra. Tell us about this heart chakra for cancer. The page of swords, the tower, and the seven of swords. odd it's almost like it's something that you witness that really changes your perspective here i mean big time something that you witness that really changes your perspective why is the seven of swords here it's the sun in the world There's something that you've been trying to see clearly and you're going to like, that'll be the end of it. You're going to see it clearly. There's something that you've been trying to see clearly and you will see this clearly. It almost feels like too something that's maybe been hidden from you somehow with the seven of swords or something that you've been trying to see in, you know, different avenues like private tarot readings <laughs> and you haven't been able to. The emperor, tell us about the emperor. Justice, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Moon. So that feels like. <sighs> Is there something here that could be a competitive energy with the five of wands? Some unknown comp competitive energy that you're dealing with. Unknown combative energy that you're dealing with. But that makes sense, right? There's something there's or something that you're struggling with here, trusting your intuition about what your future could be and the sun is like the clarity some type of clarity is gained here and it opens up your heart chakra and that's almost like the end of the story <laughs> that's all you need to know it's almost like you get an answer to something you've been trying to figure out oh right in the seven of pentacles Maybe there's been like somebody acting weird around you too with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Pentacles is the Four of Cups. What's going on here? Um, the Queen of Wands is the Five of Pentacles. And then the Ten of Swords is the Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel like that there is something going on here where there's something that's been hidden from you, but it feels like it's been hidden from you. Mm, I kind of want to say in a way to make you either, either feel kind of like isolated or like almost like an energy to try to like push you away from something, like to try to push you away from something. Almost like something that wants you to be independent so perhaps i don't know it could claim something here but that's all going to come to light in some way so why the universe is bringing this yin yang <clears throat> passive or active it's almost too like it's a, a choice for you to decide do you just sit back or do you do something the six of cups the hanged one, the hanged man, the hanged one, the hanged one. 
it almost feels like because then like rising up awakening this judgment it almost feels like perhaps being falsely accused of something and then rising above those accusations the ace of cups ah it's to see the emotion here the awakening i kind of want to say too it's to see how much love can um the three of cups how much uh love or opening up your heart chakra can change situation why is the three of cups here Oh, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords. Only your intuition will tell you this truth. The Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. Again, that feels like kind of like inner ideas with the Ace of Wands. What What is your deepest feeling here? Desires tell you. But the Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords, I really honestly feel like that the only truth... The only way you can see the truth is through your through your mind's eye. Oh, but that's why. <laughs> like, there's a truth here that it's almost like you believe it instinctively. You believe it like in your mind. <laughs> you believe it in your mind. But it's like it doesn't really show like reality to you. That's the kind of shift here. The Four of Pentacles. Hi, Larry. Four of Pentacles. Where did that card come from? That was odd. Did that fly in the air? Did it jump when I blinked and I didn't even see it? Oh, Temperance. She turning the beast into man. Going from beast to man. And why these three cards fell out? Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, Nine of Cups. Hmm. It almost feels like determining something for yourself through your emotions. If you can't figure it out, you got to figure it out through your emotions. The Page of Pentacles. Do other tarot readers have this problem? Just get yeah, comfy. You just get comfy, dear Larry. The Page of Pentacles. The Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, Judgment, and the Magician. some of you this could be happening somehow through like some cell celebration of a child like through the celebration of a child somehow the celebration of the beginnings of a, a project or an endeavor that you, you you know you want to get started it's almost like like even could be like opening up a, a small business you wanted to open up a small business or maybe there's some sort of like community group that you wanted to start or community garden and it's like the day that you kind of all get together and you celebrate this or or the grand opening of your business like it's something like that and then the king of pentacles this is somehow someone moving beyond any responsibilities that have held them back in the past and having the the freedom to move and do as they choose without being judged and without feeling any sort of negative karmic energy. Oh, let's see the thinking man. The thinking man. Maybe that's Larry. Are you the thinking man? Are you the thinking man? The thinking man. The four of pentacles and the empress. What is this? 
this emperor is looking for an empress. Or this emperor is holding off just for the empress. So if you are the empress, cancer, <laughs> oh, you, then you know you know. What's the bottom? The queen of pentacles. Well, she's really forcing herself into the reverse. <laughs> king of cups. There's a, okay. Okay. So the king of cups in the upright. Then we get the ace of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. I don't know if I want to say that this is somebody that feels perhaps emotionally manipulated by someone who cannot be independent. Or someone who does not feel that they can be independent. Somebody who's very codependent. <laughs> Maybe somebody who's trying to get a new beginning here, but they can't because of codependency with a partner, perhaps. Well, I said the King of Pentacles. It's like, because he's got this Eight of Swords, and then it turns into the King of Wands, Judgment, and the Magician. Right? It's almost like somebody's got some sort of responsibility here that holds them back. I don't know. Maybe this person's with someone. I have no idea. <laughs> I just want to get into all that. So that's what you have for this reading cancer. I'm going to go do the extended. In the extended, I'm going to ask, what can you expect from this, uh, this blind spot? Like, I mean, you kind of got it, but like in the deeper sense, what can you expect uh, from all of this? There you go. Larry and I, thank you very much, Cancer. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.